Good day, chemist in Japan. Actually, it's good evening. Um, <clears throat> as my computer will tell you, it's in just a minute. It's kind of late at night. I um, when I'm working in the lab, it's, it's very helpful for me to have my computer announce the time. Um, I have I play put I have speakers at work that I that I plug my computer into and listen to music, and it's very helpful for it to announce the time. And I always forget to turn that off when I make a video, so. That's just going to be part of my new shtick, is to have it announce the time. Um, it's been very interesting. Um, the last couple of days, uh, meeting some new people here on the internet. The, the great place that is the internet. And as much as my, my video that, I'm, that I posted for, uh, for New Year, I said that uh, I might not have very many, very many Japanese-related um, vlogs, but uh, I decided to start the year off by um, by giving away a secret. It's a big secret, actually. So this video is um, a response to a video by another user named uh, Kebi Chan, and um, I just happened to pop onto his channel. And the first video that pops up, uh, he answers some question about his Japanese study. And um, one of the per one of the questions he answers he, he he quotes the question as being, "How do you feel about studying kanji?" And my first response to that is, um, "I feel pretty good about it, actually." <laughs> but how does one respond to that question? Because um, if you're going to study Japanese, you are not going to get away from having to study kanji. You cannot escape it. At all, and you know there, you know as, you know for the last two years I've tutored Japanese. I've been a paid tutor at my university to tutor Japanese, and um, I, I get this question all the time about kanji. You know people complain about having to learn it and complain about having to memorize it, um, and uh, people just complain about it. It's very, very annoying to hear their complaints about having studied kanji. But you have to do it. Get over it. But oftentimes, um, when people are complaining about having to learn kanji and memorize kanji and, and everything, I, I like to reveal the secret to learning kanji. Uh, and and, and this, is, this, is, this, is, this is a secret. It's going to blow your mind when I tell you this. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, I mean... I can't believe I'm, I'm going to reveal reveal the secret. I'm going to reveal the secret to, to kanji, and and I know I'm going to get a lot of hate email because because you think I'm a, you think it's going to be a lie. You think it's going to be a lie, but I, I'm telling the truth. I'm going to tell you the secret for for kanji. Um, so start off start off the year uh, with the, with a good video on on revealing the secret to kanji. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? It's it's two words. It's two words. It, 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 here it is. Use it. That's the secret. When someone asks me, how did I learn kanji? How did I memorize all those kanji? I tell them the truth. And the truth is, I never did, I never have, and I never will. Um, if you ever meet me in person, you will know that I cannot remember crap. I cannot remember. I cannot remember people's name, names. I cannot remember the names of people. Even friends that I've had for 10 years, when I'm talking to them, for some reason, their name does not immediately get recalled in my mind. So this is the names of people, the names of pieces of equipment, the names of chemical compounds, the names of reactions, even famous ones. They do not come to me. I cannot memorize anything. And in and, and a grad class that I just had, um, <laughs> the, the, the professor, it was a joke, the professor asked us to memorize four numbers, four numbers uh, for the final exam. He told us that at the, beginning of the, at the beginning of the semester, and these are numbers that we used the entire semester. We used these numbers over and over again in my physical organic class. What is the length of, of a carbon-carbon bond, you know, single, double, triple, 
and in benzene. And what is the bond dissociation energy of a carbon-hydrogen bond? So that's actually five numbers. So I, I couldn't do it. So I have never memorized a single kanji. They have gotten in here because I have used them. And I use them over and over. So that is the amazing secret, the amazing trick to learning kanji. Two words, use them. Call me a liar. Call me a liar. I'm okay with that. Thanks for watching.